We do evil. Say we do evil. When we see an opportunity to do good and turn away and do nothing. Especially when it's in your sphere of influence, your resources. Well, I I didn't have the $400 they needed. But you got some friends you can talk to and raise it. There's an account of a man who was in a hole. And he was stuck and he couldn't get out. Help! Help! People walk by and says, oh, I, I, you're too far. I can't help you. He walked by. Help! Help! Another man walked by. I, I got a little rope maybe in my belt. I'll I put it in there. Oh, it's too, I, I can't reach you. I'm sorry. He takes his belt and go put it back on and walks away. Another man has a little longer rope. I, I, I'm close. Nah, I'm sorry. I can't help you. Someone else has a, little, a much longer rope. No, nope, too far away. And they all walk away kind of discouraged. My rope is not big enough. My money is not long enough. The man screams out, tie the rope together. (laughs) Tie the ropes together and get me out of here. Come on. (laughs) When we start, when we decide to work together. Amen. We can help more people. And life was never designed for us to do it alone. God said it's not good for man to be alone. Yeah, in the context of marriage, but also in life. What God has called us to do and the good God called us to do requires us to work to what? Together with other people. Amen. That's right. I hear that. 